All right, for some perspective on the power of that 7.8 magnitude earthquake, let's bring it to Ross Caruso. Ross, this quite deadly and then happening in pre-dawn hours when many, many people were asleep. Yeah, Andrew, it's truly sad just, you know, the time of the day and just the sheer power of this uh, earthquake that came through. And, you know, the last time the contiguous United States had an earthquake of that magnitude was almost 212 years ago, all the way back on February 7th in 1812, where a 7.9 magnitude earthquake occurred near New Madrid, Missouri. There are actually around about a million earthquakes every year across the globe, but the majority of them are so weak that they're usually not felt. Earthquakes over three are often felt, but damage is normally not likely. But with each increase on the scale, there's more of an exponential increase in the potential energy to be released. For example, looking at a magnitude four, you can see that we're looking at roughly 33,000 pounds of explosive as far as the equivalent to the power exerted, where a magnitude six earthquake is equivalent to more so about 33 million pounds of explosives. The major earthquake that took place near southeastern Turkey, near the Syrian border, last night caused severe damage across the area, which was that of a 7.8 magnitude earthquake, and that was closer to 33 billion pounds of explosives. And since the major quake last night, there have been dozens of aftershocks, including another major 7.5 magnitude earthquake. The deadly quake is one of the most powerful to hit Turkey in the past 100 years. And again, looking at this, you can see just the amount of uh, aftershocks that we have felt. And a lot of times, whenever you have a earthquake this strong, you're looking at these aftershocks that are not only likely to stick around for the next couple days, but in some cases could last weeks to months.